Hi everyone, it's Paulina. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to be doing a 10 minute follow along warm up routine that is specifically designed for gymnasts, cheerleaders and dancers, but can pretty much be used for any sport. As someone who's been injured five times in the span of the past two years, I know that warming up is absolutely crucial to loosening up your joints, gradually increasing your heart rate and increasing your body temperature. This not only prevents you from getting injured, but also makes it so much easier for you to tumble and learn new skills. So I'd highly recommend this warm up routine for open gyms or pretty much any time that you're training. Basically, we're gonna be doing a mixture of pulse raises, active and static stretches. So without further ado, let's go. To start off with, we're going to do 10 star jumps just, just to start getting the blood pumping around our bodies. And the next pulse raising exercise that we're going to do are these side to side jumps, so we're going to do 10 on each side. And the final pulse rising exercise that we're going to do is 10 tuck jumps. Now, these ones do take quite a lot of effort, but they are really good for warming up to tumble. Okay, so whenever you're ready, we're going to do some stretches for our neck, starting off with a side stretch like this. When I stretch, I like to work from the top of my body down all the way to my ankles because that way I know that I definitely haven't missed anything. Once you're ready, switch sides. And I also like to put my hand behind my back like this just to feel a bit of a deeper stretch. Now come back up and very slowly and carefully look up towards the ceiling like this to feel a stretch in the front part of your neck. And you can also now put your hands behind your back and stretch the back of your neck like this. I also like to sort of gently swing my head around a little bit just to make sure that I've stretched all the parts of my neck because that is the one part of your body that you definitely do not want to injure. Now let's warm up our shoulders and our arms by doing 10 arm circles backwards and 10 arm circles forwards. After you're done with those, you can swing your arms backwards and forwards a little bit before going into this shoulder stretch. And when you're ready, switch sides. And also in the stretch, it's really important to keep your straight arms straight because that way you'll feel the best stretch possible. Now with your elbows behind your head, try and grab one of your elbows and pull it towards the side of you just to feel a nice stretch in your triceps. And you can also do the same thing on the other side. Carrying on with our shoulders but also slightly moving on to our backs, now interlock your fingers and we're going to do 10 of these pulses with your arms above your head and then also 10 with your arms behind your head sort of folded over, you'll see. Yeah, whatever these upside down ones are called, but yeah, 10 of those as well. Okay, so that is it with our shoulders and now we're going to stretch out our sort of back and hips area. So let's start by just doing some sort of twists like this and I find that these are really good just to warm up my back and loosen up the joints and then we're going to do a side stretch over to one side. So with one hand on your hip and one hand over your shoulder then just stretch out here and you should feel a nice deep stretch in your side. Now keeping your legs and back straight, reach down and try and touch your toe like this. And now do the same stretch but just reach in the middle in between your legs. Now slowly move on to your other side. And finally back up into a side stretch on the side that you haven't done yet. Okay, so now I don't really know what to call this next exercise, but basically you're going to just press down on the floor a, a little bit and then swing your arms alternating upwards like this. So we're going to do 10 of these and I find that these are really good for warming up your back and your shoulders and pretty much your whole body. So once you finish with those, then now let's move on to a seal stretch. 
Here, try and keep your arms straight and push your hips down and your shoulders backwards. Now fold over into a cat stretch, trying to get your chest onto the floor. So now that we've stretched out our back a little bit, let's do some bridges. So first off, just go into a bridge like you would normally and we're going to do a few rocks like this trying to push our shoulders back and straighten out our feet. Now on each side we're going to do three bridge rotations. So for this all you're going to do is twist one hand and put your arm in and then go back into a bridge and do the same on the other side. Um, yeah, I think these are really good for sort of stretching out your side muscles and I find that after I do this like my back feels a lot less tight. And finally, go into a tuck shape and just do some gentle rocks like this. Next, we're going to move on to stretching out our legs, starting off with a dynamic one. So let's do five high kicks on each leg like this. Now after you finish with this, sit down into a straddle shape and start off by stretching over one over to one side like this. Now come back up and let's go over to the other side. And now come back up and now let's do Japana where you just stretch your hands out in front of you in the middle like this. Now shake your legs out and we're going to go into a pike fold. First off with your toes pointed. Okay, now flex your toes and we're going to do the same thing again, but this time the stretch is going to be more focused at our calves rather than our hamstrings. And now from one of my favourites, we're going to do a simple butterfly stretch like this. So try and push your knees down with your elbows whilst sort of leaning forwards as far as you can just so you feel the stretch in your hips and legs. Okay, so now we're going to do a series of lunges starting off with just this one where your front leg is bent and your back leg is straight and you're trying to push your hips down as far to the ground as you can or as you feel comfortable to. Now straighten out your front leg, bend your back leg and lean forwards like this for a nice deep stretch in your hamstring. So now bend your front leg again and try and grab your back ankle with your hand and this is a really nice stretch for your quads so yeah just try and do this and now we're going to go into a side lunge where basically try and like push your, push your knee outwards with your elbow and switch sides to the other one uh, and here you should feel a stretch in like your inner thigh and now if you want you can try and just go from one side to the other without like touching the floor if not then just stay lunging and just alternate sides every like five to ten seconds okay so now we're going to do the same lunge series but on the other leg so if you're doing your right before then do your left now and if you're doing your left then now do your right and now, just like last time, straighten out your front leg and lean forwards to stretch out your hamstring. And now, 
bend your front leg, bend your back leg, grab onto your back leg and just try and breathe into your quad if that makes sense. That doesn't really make sense but yeah just try and feel a nice stretch in your quad muscles. Okay, so for the final few leg stretches, we're going to go into a downward dog and just walk our ankles out a little bit like this. This is a really good stretch for your calves and also for your back as well, kind of. So now we're going to do a few needle kicks. Um, so starting off with your right leg, do five kicks just as high as you can. It doesn't even have to be high, just so you feel the stretch like this. And after you're done with that, do the same thing, but on your left leg. Next we're going to do just a few stretches for our wrists and ankles, so starting off by kneeling down and place your hands like this backwards to feel a nice stretch in your forearms and you can also then flip them around so they're sort of like upside down or sideways or basically however, however you best feel the stretch and just keep holding it there until you feel that they're all nice and stretched out. And now if you want you can just shake your wrists around a little bit, you can like wave them side to side, whatever you want. And we're going to do some stretches for our ankles. So what I like to do is just sit with like one ankle up and just rotate it around a few times. And after I'm done with that, move on to the other ankle. And stretching out your ankles is actually really important because they're like one of the biggest sources of injuries in gymnastics, tumbling, cheerleading. All that so make sure that you stretch them out properly okay so now we are pretty much finished with stretching our whole entire body and just as an optional little extra what I like to do at the end of every time I warm up before I start tumbling is just a few drop back to bridges like this so if you want then you can just drop back to bridge and come back up I usually do it three times but this is optional, so if not, then you are all done and ready to tumble. So that is it guys, now your body is fully ready for whatever tumble, jump or stunt that you're going to throw at it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this warm-up routine and if you want to see more sort of gymnastics, tumbling, other random videos like that, then feel free to subscribe to my channel down below. And you can also follow me on Instagram or TikTok for more tumbling videos and also a bit about my day-to-day -day life. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!